हॅलो एव्हरीवन आय एम पल्लवी महागावकर आय एम वर्किंग ॲज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ॲट आर्ट्स कॉमर्स अँड सायन्स कॉलेज दिस लेक्चर सिरीज इज क्रिएटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस गिव्हन बाय सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी फॉर द सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सब्जेक्ट नेम इज मायक्रो कंट्रोलर सो टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सिरियल कंट्रोल रजिस्टर एज वी नो दॅट टू ट्रान्सफर डेटा फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर प्लेस वन नीड टू यूज आयदर सिरियल कम्युनिकेशन ऑर पॅरल कम्युनिकेशन सो इन केस ऑफ वेन वी आर युजिंग मायक्रो कंट्रोलर एस बफ इज यूज टू ट्रान्सफर ॲक्च्युअल डेटा सो वॉट एव्हर वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रान्सफर दॅट डेटा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल should be available at sbuf register or whatever data we are going to receive that should be available into sbuf register so serial buffer register is used to transfer or receive data whereas this serial control register is used to control the serial communication as you can see we have 8 bit format for the escon register this is bit addressable register so whenever you want to address any single bit from this bit format you can address that uh, without giving the total byte value so if you want to address the second bit of this escon you can address that bit independently so first of all we will focus for the seventh bit of this escon register so this is escon we call it as a escon point 7 this is sixth bit of escon register which we are going to call it as a escon point 6 so when uh, these two uh, bits are used to select the mode of data transmission process means what bodret you want to use to transfer the data so we will have four modes of operation for the serial communication so example when these both bits are 00 we are going to use the serial mode 0 the function of this mode here we are going to use the shift register this mode is called as shift register mode the second mode is when sn0 is having zero value sn1 is having one value this mode is called as serial mode 1 and the data transfer process is done to transfer eight bits of data so here the UART will send 8 bits of data at once. Then we have SM0 as 1, SM1 as 0. This mode is called as mode 2 for the serial communication, meaning that we are going to use 9 bits for the data transfer process. Quite obvious. This is with the fixed baud rate. Then the last is when SM0 is 1, SM1 is 1, this mode we are going to call it as a mode 3 of serial communication where we are going to transfer 9 bits of data with fixed baud rate. Uh, this so this is all about the mode which we are having in serial control register so to address this mode we are going to use two bits which is escon point 7 and escon point 6 now we'll look into the next bit which is sn2 so this is the fifth bit of escon register which will addressed as escon point 5 the name of this is sn2 we use this when we have specially we use this 
using the multi processor communication so when we are dealing with the multi processor communication so when we have processors more than one and uh, that time we have to transfer the data definitely you have to go for sm2 generally mode 2 and 3 uh, are used to transfer the data when we are using the multi processor communication so this is your fifth bit of scom register now what is the next bit the next bit is re ren which stands for receive enable so this is receive enable bit which is fourth bit of scom register whenever we want to use uh reception or we want to enable the reception that time you have to give one value to the fourth bit of scom register so when you want to allow the reception you have to send value this indicates reception is allowed or reception is enabled and by sending zero value this is disabled so reception is not allowed with this ren when we are sending zero value now next two bits are that is bit number 3 that is scon point 3 which is tb8 and bit number 2 that is scon point Two named as RB eight. This is transmission bit eight and reception bit eight. What is this reception and transmission bit? We are going to use these two bits only when we are dealing with mode two and mode three, where we are sending or receiving the ninth bit. So whenever we want to receive that ninth bit. or whenever we want to transmit that ninth bit we will use this uh bits so for reception purpose or receive purpose we will activate this rb8 and uh, for transmission purpose we will activate tb8 some reference book right this is not widely used bits we use them only when we have the mode 2 and mode 3 operations now let us give the total focus for the last two which is bit number 1 and bit number 0 which stands for x scon point 1 and scon point 0 these are your ti flag bit and the second one is ri flag bit so what is the meaning of ti and ri TI stands for transmit enable or transmit interrupt bit and this stands for reception interrupt bit so as we know that uh, here the controlling action is going to take place so how we are going to uh, get the information that the total data bits has been transferred or total data bits are received by the sbuf register so to indicate that we are using this transmit interrupt bit and this is receive interrupt bit so for example whenever we are transferring the data this in uh, transmit interrupt bit will have value or it will automatically will reset to the value so this is to indicate whether total transmission of bits are over or not and this is to indicate whether total reception bits are completed or not so this is all about the total data bits format so whenever we have the uh, receive interrupt flag 
So this is indi indicated with RI flag bit. So this is all about the S-con register. Thank you.